salutations, Dobo Nation, Johnny Allen, Supercar Kid here, back again. Uh, I got Hunter in tow. We're on some back roads on the way to Reading. The highways have a bunch of closures on them, so we're just gonna just avoid them in total and just take these roads. And I must say, they are so much fun. Like, people talk about like the California Canyon roads, but guys, PA back roads are where it's at, I'm telling you. So, we, we plan to get a ton of work done on the Dawson today, uh, hopefully. Oh, gotta turn left here. And uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Um, now, I gotta focus on driving, so, I'm, so I'm gonna put you guys down. But uh, I'll see you guys when I get home. Oh my god, oh jeez. That was quite the drive. That was fun. That was really nice. That was a lot. Yeah, we went um, with no highways. What'd you do? We, we went. Yeah. Oh yeah. From E-Town. We've, we've never taken the back roads here. At least I've never taken uh -huh. them here. Yeah. This thing drove like a freaking dream on those back roads. But now the Datsun is here, and we're gonna get working on it. Well, nice. <laughs> that was some bullshit for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was some. That was some bullshit. I don't know why it wouldn't go through on my phone, but I just got really worried because. Mounting that bumper is going to take quite some time to get it right. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to paint everything this weekend. Like, So what that was all about was, so uh, we got a front bumper for the, the 280. We got it a little over a week ago. We got some brackets to go with it. Now, it's going to take a little bit of work to get these things to fit and a lot of time. And this is Hunter's really last week here to help me. So we, were, we got really worried because FedEx tried to leave it off here today about an hour and a half before we got here so then it was like not at it was not here and we were like worried that we wouldn't be able to get it but it's all right we got it we go and go get it hopefully and uh hopefully i shouldn't even say that now so we just finally got the title for the Datsun. it is in my name i'm not going to show it to you guys because my address was on it and i did that in the first take but yeah it, it's in my name here you can the, show that part. it is ours i mean all it yeah. says is the title number Pretty much. And, and your name. There's my name. There's my name. But yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. The plate's on the way. The plate should be here within, I guess, the next week. But anyways, we're, we're going to try to go finish up the rest of that rear suspension, suspension on the one side and see if we can pull that thing out. Let's do it. Then we'll show you guys some more of the whole process of how I did that. All right. So, um, yeah, we can't help it. We got to start it. We, we just got to start. I mean, I got to make sure it still works. I did, or I did kind of mess up. So the battery died when we when we were working on it uh, a few days ago, and I put the battery back in and put it in uh, backwards, <laughs> and our cords are also backwards. Like the negative is the red wire for the starter, and the positive is the black wire because someone who installed this starter did not put that on properly. So I made that mistake. And uh, what happens is it burns up this little guy. It leaves a little battle scar on the top of this thing. So I started it up last week, uh, a few days ago, and it still works fine. So we're gonna try it again and see if it still starts. Ooh, right, that, that does sound nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that needs an exhaust cutout for sure. But uh, wow, yeah, that sounded really cool. Yeah, like with a cutout, that'll be perfect. That's what the, uh, the bald eagle switch in our, our uh, dashboard is. That's gonna eventually go to an exhaust cutout, which will cut out that muffler back there. Right here in the middle is where we decided to put it, right over there. So no resonator, exhaust cutout. So it'll sound even better with the big muffler and then even better with the cutout. So oh, that so the cutout will basically take us back to when we were like, like straight up open now. So back to like, blah, 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 blah. because I kind of miss it a little bit. I low key do. Like I can't go without hearing the Datsun sound like a Cam V8. I can't. Is this all gonna collapse? You get under underneath, it. under the. I mean, the other option could be this. I can't really wrap a wrench around these, but maybe these have to have to be threaded out. 
Maybe maybe they're doing football. I like I can't oh, even this wrap one's a uh, I'm literally unscrewing this one. John, I'm literally unscrewing this one. <laughs> oh, I'm pushing this one out. Oh, what? John, that's not safe. Oh, it's because they're only threaded in halfway through the bolt. The threads only. We go need up. something to push these out then. Okay. Wow, we might have just figured this out. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's just because the bolts are just still in there. I mean, I thought that the bolts would just slip over, but I guess they're not supposed to. So note to self, when you're taking out the axle nuts, take out the axle bolts, too. <laughs> and keep it there. I was terrified this whole time. Boys, we got them. We got them. Well, we got one of them. Just a little more. <laughs> and a whole nother side. And a whole nother side. It is grimy down here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's gonna make it easy. You're really not gonna make it easy. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> well, we got it out! Oh my god! Like, literally three taps. Oh, Tell me you got that on me. <laughs> I did. Oh my god, we got it out. Oh my well, god. Let's slide this John out of here in victory. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> wow, this actually doesn't look like it's going to be that bad to put back together. No. Wow, dude. I say that now. Alright, guys. So, to remove this whole rear uh, suspension assembly. What you gotta do, start with the brake line. Now there's a fitting here, fitting over here, and there's one more fitting underneath down here. Now, mine uh, stripped up here, stripped over there, so my only chance is that one down there. If that one doesn't come off, then we're getting some pliers. But, um, but to get the rest of it off, we gotta go underneath. So actually, first you wanna get rid of that nut right there, or the nut on the bottom of it down there. Uh, either one's really fine. Um, I still haven't done that yet because I procrastinated that. After that, you want to remove all your axle nuts. So you want to get a 14 millimeter flare nut wrench and get these off just normally. Just normally, you don't need to hold this nut to get these off. Normally, these will loosen up and then just get finger loose and, and just come off. Uh, pretty much, take off everything else first and then you can get those out. At least in my experience, that's what I had to do. So underneath, um, there's some bolts inside of this bracket right here, 14 millimeters. Take them out. In fact, it's kind of just dangling loose in here. I'll probably just uh, remove it here. Whoop! There goes the exhaust. So a few bolts in that. Remove them up there. I haven't done these yet, but there's these two bolts right there. Got to take those out. Um, and then once those go out, then it's just the bolts on top that are uh, visible through the interior, and then the whole thing comes out. Oh, I almost forgot one thing, the e cable. This is probably the, the thing to do first. So you wanna take out this cotter pin right here, and then try to get off those two 10 millimeter nuts right there. Your socket should be able to like reach through once you get this uh, loose, and then take off that bracket and that will detach the whole e-brake cable. I think you can also get this off without taking off the bracket, but I couldn't really figure out how and I didn't want to risk like ruining my e-brake cable or anything like that. So I just took off those two nuts. Really easy, real simple and not too complicated. The problem we had on the other side was when we left the, the axle bolts inside, we couldn't pull the half shaft uh, out. So what you have to do is move this around so that you can get to those bolts and then get those bolts out. Then once those bolts are out, hit it with a hammer a bunch of times and it should hopefully come out. Those bolts up there should be your last one, I believe. 
Uh, you should be able to move it with those still attached. But if not, then I guess you gotta take it off. I'm not entirely sure. But we're, we're gonna figure it out a, a little bit more along the way. And uh, yeah, should be, th this should go by a lot faster than the last one did, hopefully. So that should be good. Holy crap. So in a surprising twist in this vlog, we're at, we're at freaking Rite Aid. And apparently the Burger King across the street's on fire. And I was told to come meet up over here. So here I am. What's up, Fuggers? Hello, fuckers? hello. You've come to see the Burger King. It's actually, it's just straight up on fire? Yeah, it's on fire. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? I mean, what do you think all these people are here for? Okay, bye. That's wild. We just drove up. And I, we see a big smoke cloud. I'm like, Hunter, do you see all this smoke? And he goes, yeah. He's like, you think somebody did a burnout? Nah. Burger King's on fire, boys. Burger King's on fire. <laughs> Bad news. What's up? They don't have the package. We gotta wait till guess what? Monday. Okay, so <laughs> you can try. If oh. We can sweet talk somebody. We might be able to get it tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, are we gonna go get food? Uh, where at? I don't care. You wanna get some Bellas? We can go to the Burger King. Really? <laughs> really? Um, I don't think they're open right now. No, probably not. How about Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A, I'm down. Chick-fil-A. Right, just just meet up in the parking lot. We'll just walk in. All right, so Johnny D is here now. Hello, Johnny D. Trump and here. we're going to disassemble the rest of this suspension here. Um, Hunter is showing Johnny D how to do the mirrors. So we're going to have two of the same mirrors, finally. Uh, he, he's going to also paint them matte black. We're painting a lot of shit matte black, actually. So we're painting, we got new uh, taillight housings, which are oh, in here. So taillight housings. Painting matte black uh, for tail lights, which we are tinting black, and reverse lights, which which we will also be tinting uh, black. I'm gonna paint this uh, matte black. Yes, it is already matte black. We're gonna repaint it with a fresh coat, sand it, and everything. But all the chrome, we're gonna not black out all of it. We're not gonna black out like this, this, and this, like all that. We're just, we're just gonna do the stuff back here, and then black out some stuff up front, and that'll be all of our. So he's working on exhaust stuff. He's putting a little bend in it so it sits up a little bit higher because the way how it's sitting, it's a little bit too low. The only bend I could find that was even close to being right is this one. So in that case, if we ever just want to like run no muffler, it still kind of looks like an exhaust. Got the cotter pin out. Uh, now for this little pin, and then we'll just take this off. All right, so this little pin is giving me some issues. You gotta push this out so you can get the e-brake cable off. Um, so it's just kind of just give me so much trouble. So I'm gonna move on to the other suspension bolts over here. They're 14 mil. Make sure you have a breaker bar if you're doing this on, on an old rusty car because a breaker bar is essential for this, like essential. And then yeah, we'll worry about this after I do that, but. All right, so now that I, well, I got the bolt for that thing off. I got most of the bolts for, I got, <laughs> I didn't get the one bolt off for the lower control arm because it was really, really tight. So I gave it a little shot of liquid wrench and I'm going to come back at that in a minute. Uh, right now I'm, I'm going to work on the axle bolts, uh, or the nuts, just get all those off. They're really difficult and, uh, so wish me luck there. Hope I don't ship them. I got my flare nut wrench right here. So, so this should, should do the trick, but a little update as to what everyone else is doing. So Hunter has been working on the tail lights. Struggle. <laughs> so what else he's doing is he's painting the tail light trim over here. So he's painting this black. Y'all can't even see it because it's so dang black. Johnny D and Grant are, are over here. Also struggling. Also struggling, yes. But with cotter pins. They're helping me so much because these cotter pins take forever. And they're helping me a ton by doing them uh, early before I ever touch the ball joints and uh, all that stuff over here. Look at that. That freaking midnight, dude. That, that is gonna be so cool. With everything else again? blacked out, hell yeah. Well, uh, there's a couple spots in here that I need to get, but other than that, it's pretty good. Nice, dude. Tell me it's not the right way. It feels dry, but it, okay, I can tell it's kind of wet. Oh, okay. Should I paint it again? Uh, no, I'll leave it. No, Wait till yeah, it's, uh, it's like another uh, What What happened over there? We got it. You got it? Yeah. We got it. <laughs> you got both the cotter pins yeah. on Yeah. That was fantastic. My, uh, that was quite difficult. That was quite difficult. Yeah, now with awesome. confidence, I kind of want to try that other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on now? Oh, there it goes. There he goes. 
Yeah, there it goes. There you go. Now it's all loosey goosey. All right, so uh, me and Hunter are gonna go take a Walmart run uh, because we have to get an eight mil socket, which I do not have. Uh, <laughs> hey John. <laughs> but uh, John and Grant got out all the cotter pins, so now they're taking off the bolts. I and just got that one ball off. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, I have new tie rod ends and new ball joints all coming in, so we'll be replacing enough. those later. Yes. Alright, so I'm still trying to disassemble the rear suspension little by little. This brake line is stripped. The brake line over there is stripped. I got the one in the bottom off, but it's John, still no good. Can I just cut this off? Then what? Alright guys, I did a last ditch effort. I took off the bolts on this little bracket by using a little flat wrench. Took forever, but the brake lines are off on this side. All I gotta do left is take out the axle bolts. I already took out the axle nuts. Um, I took out the bolt on this thing, took out the last bolt over there. And uh, I got, oh, I also have to detach the e-brake because this is still attached here. But I have to get that off and then the two 10 mil bolts back there. And then this is all set to come out, finally. Well, that is unless I can get the e-brake the e to slide through this thing, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna just take those, those bolts off anyway. But then yeah, after that, we just take off those top three bolts, uh, give this a little hammer, and we're all Gucci. Oh, I got my whole ass arm in Johnny's the door. Johnny's hand is now touching my hand right oh, here. I feel okay. the, bad, 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 bad. the edge of the wrench. I can't see shit though. That's okay, you're, you're where you need to be. My hand's on it, so. Okay, okay. I almost have it lined up. This is really difficult getting this mirror off. Yes. This is a pain in the ass. There's a nut in here behind this wall, but you have to come at an angle because you do not have the correct tool. We just have a small ass wrench. Sort of. Oh, wait. I think you're on. Sort of. I gotta, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. I'll, I'll let you know if we get this out. <laughs> oh, this is the play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, keep going. Yes. Woo! Let's drill her away. Right. Let's uh, drill her away, Johnny O. Yeah, the actual drill away. I feel like everything on this car is just a pain in the ass. Also, try not to curse too much because <laughs> I have to leave out. out everything. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Perfect. That bitch is on reverse. <laughs> oh. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> what did you do? Johnny. What the hell? Johnny. Uh, uh, it's okay. 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 Johnny. I was sending the screw in, and you know how, like, my drill kind of keeps going after you let it go? Uh, sure. Well, yeah, it kept that going. <laughs> And uh, oh, it bent the bracket a little bit. Oh my. It, might, it, it might just still work fine, actually. Yeah, try, try I think it. it'll still Let's work fine. It. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Alright, gotta go down now. Gotta go down, gotta bring this out. Oh my god, that almost hit me in the face. <laughs> Lucky my hand was right here. No, dude. Oh, man. This, like, popped out and almost smacked wow. me in the face. Dude, I was holding it here. If my hand wasn't here, I, like, I, I was pulling it back. I almost got a rusty wow. string to the face. <laughs> wow. Dude, that, yeah, that thing for real one. almost oh, just yeah, smacked him in the, the face. Last one. Yo, okay, guys. All right. <laughs> that was some crap to get up. But oh my god. All of the suspension is now out of the car. Is it really? Finally, yes. It's all out of the car. It took this long. <laughs> So it's like one o'clock in the morning. I got work at eight o'clock tomorrow. We're tired. So we're probably gonna wrap it up here. Now, Grant did get the 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 mirror uh, back on. Uh, the mirror itself isn't on. It's just the bracket yeah. for the mirror is on. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a lot more. I'm gonna see if I can cut these tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna try to like rust dissolve them too. Maybe spray them with something. 
and yeah, but my back is killing me. So uh, we're gonna uh, go in and eat food, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Or I guess tomorrow afternoon, because I get back home at five. You'll see me in the morning. <laughs> you will see him in the morning, yes. Because you guys will be hosted by them tomorrow. So guys, we got a lot of stuff done today. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of us. Johnny D and Grant helped out a lot with the ball joints up front and the uh, the tie rod ends by getting off the cotter pins and the nuts. While our exhaust never got finished, Hunter put a lot of work in, put a lot of time in, figured out some new things and we're gonna come back at it tomorrow we're gonna look into seeing if there's a, mach a machine shop that can cut these and weld them uh, and weld our coilovers to them. I fixed that wire, by the way, the wire that I popped over there. Fix that. But uh, yeah. So I was gonna I was gonna continue this video to tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna end it here. If you appreciate the vibe, leave a subscribe, leave a like if you'd like, and I hope you enjoy the video, and till the next stream, which is just tomorrow, but, you know, part two, whatever it is, I don't know.